Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Steve, and it's my privilege to bring you a thought for the day. When life was what I called normal, I loved a bit of adventure, a bit of risk, and something with a challenge in it. And some of this has been passed down to our girls. We were on holiday and went to an extreme outward bound centre. It was rock climbing at high level with various zip wires in between. And we were trained and then kitted up and we were given loads of PPE to wear. We were then fitted with our safety harness which I have to say was a little uncomfortable to wear. But the safety safety harness was to go everywhere with me. It was attached to the safety line. Now we had the ability to release that safety harness at any time. But the whole point of it was that we were attached to the safety system no matter what happened. It was with us. It was with us even in those times we were confident in our own ability. But there were also many times when I had to look back just to check to see if I was safe. I needed that reassurance. No matter what happens, the instructor said, you can depend on the safety system. The first few verses in John 15 says this. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will bear even more fruit. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. And it's that last sentence which says, Remain in me as I also remain in you. And that phrase to me suggests fixing your eyes on Jesus, a branch depending on the vine, our dependency on Jesus, and he, Jesus, being with us all the time. We've been living in and are living in totally uncharted territory. We've seen this on the news with many workers having to cope with untold pressure and risks. Working kind of within the new norm. Parents having to cope with challenging situations. Teachers and lecturers online, vulnerable people not really understanding, shielded people locked inside, and we've even seen churches go online. As we journey, wherever we are, and wherever our faith journey is, we are moving forward. As individuals, as a church, as a town, and as a country, we all need to remain in him. As the country and the world are beginning to open up, albeit carefully, this appears to be bringing a new wave of uncertainty, a new wave of anxiety and fear, and we certainly need to remain in him. We need to fix our eyes on Jesus, visualise that branch attached to the vine, realise our dependency on him. We need to remain in him. And maybe some of us need to look back, as I did when I was rock climbing, to see that safety harness attached to the safety line. Or even maybe some of us, for the first time, need to think about Jesus helping out in our lives. Remain in me, And I also remain in you. This pandemic has certainly changed our circumstances dramatically. And you may well remember another time in your life when your circumstances changed dramatically. 
Maybe you got married. Maybe kids came along. Maybe you faced a health issue or some kind of major loss. Maybe you changed job or moved house. And these changes meant you had to reframe how you did things. Reframe how you looked at life in general. You had to think again. I can say from personal experience in my life that Jesus has helped me. He's helped me through many situations and my faith is certainly in him now as I move forward. I want to remain in him and I want him to remain in me. That's solid rock I can depend on. Well, in our rock climbing, we got to the final challenge. And it was set, it was set slightly differently to every other challenge. It was a set of monkey bars you had to hold on to and dangle underneath. And you took yourself across a 30 metre drop that was certainly really quite wide. There was an instructor my side and there was an instructor the other side. I was being reassured. I took hold of the first monkey bar and I looked down. I looked down onto what I was going to fall onto and I bottled. I couldn't do it. The reason I bottled was the fact that I couldn't see my safety line. This challenge that was set before me was set slightly differently to the rest. The safety line was above you rather than next to you. And this played a trick on my mind. I was unaware of it, even though it was still there and keeping me safe. Maybe you need that reminder about God. He's with you even in these difficult times. Wherever you are on your spiritual journey, I would urge you to start a relationship with Jesus or to dig deeper into that relationship with Jesus. In this time of uncertainty and in life in general, never forget God loves you. So remain in him as he remains in you. Let's pray. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show his favour and give you his peace. Amen. Enjoy your day.